welcome to our channel in today's episode we're going to be teaching you about planets of our solar system so first let's name them one by one the sun the sun mercury. is not really a planet actually mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so let's first start with facts about the sun. So we'll talk about the sun in another of our videos, but let's just tell you some things about the sun. The sun is actually a big star, and it is made out of helium and hydrogen, just like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. If you know what helium is, a balloon is full of helium that floats floats in the air so we'll talk about helium i'll talk about helium in some of our gases videos okay so next is mercury so mercury is the smallest planet and the nearest pla planet, planet to but the it's sun. not the hottest that that award goes to venus it is not the hottest because of it has a very very thin atmosphere. atmosphere so there's nothing to track heat then we go to venus the, the hottest, hottest planet. planet so venus and mercury don't okay. have moons they both don't have moons earth has moons earth and, has one. and v let me tell you a fun fact venus and earth are roughly the same size it's just that earth is a little bit bigger slightly bigger, bigger. And also, they are made out of the same rocky material. Isn't that awesome? So, Venus is actually Earth's cousin or twin. And did you know that Venus and Uranus both spin the opposite way around, while all the other planets spin Clock. clockwise? But they spin anti-clockwise. Clockwise. So now we go, go to, to Earth. Earth. We already know many fun facts about Earth, but here's some that you might not know. That Earth is the twin of Venus. We have heard that one. And that there's no other life on any other planet than on Earth. So, no aliens. no aliens. No aliens. Next, we go to Mars. And Mars is almost like Earth. It has a North Pole, like Earth. And it's full of ice. But, no Martians there either. And, it's the, and ice is the only form of water like on Mars. Mars. Okay. Next, we go to Jupiter. The biggest and toughest planet of them all. And Jupiter is just a big ball of gas. The same as the sun. Are also. It is also the beginning of the gas giants. If you don't know, our solar system is split, split in, in, into two parts. There is the outer ones. The sun is not a part. The inner and the outer. These ones are the rocky ones. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. But then there's the gassy ones that are made out of, totally out of gas. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Okay. Now we now we now you know what we think what we mean gas giants. Now Jupiter is one of those gas, gas giants. giants. And you know why we call it the gas giants? It's the biggest. You know, the whole solar system could fit inside Jupiter. And still, not about the sun, only the planets, could fit in Jupiter, but there will still be space for one more. Pluto. This is a dwarf planet. But we won't, we won't talk about Pluto because Pluto is not my planet. So if you see a scale that is talking about Pluto, Pluto, that scale is very old because Pluto is not considered a planet anymore. It's called a dwarf planet and you, as you see here, we're not talking about dwarf planets. So, 
and Jupiter has a very long lasting storm that have been on it called the red spot. The great red spot. You might know why it's called the great red spot. You should it's Google right. and if you want to see the picture, it's amazing. It has it's like a hurricane. It's a it's a hurricane on Jupiter that has been going for years and years and years. Scientists don't know when this when it started and when it's gonna end, but they think this this hurricane is the long longest lasting hurricane on the in the solar, solar system. system because there might be others in the galaxy. And did you know that Jupiter has been protecting Earth from most of the asteroids from the asteroid belt? That is in the middle of Mars and Jupiter to separate the two. And in the middle of Neptune and Uranus, there is one. It's called the Kuiper Belt. And the biggest thing there is Pluto. Um, but we are not talking about Pluto, so we are leaving out Pluto still. Then we go to Saturn. There are beautiful rings. But don't be fooled. All of the gas giants, giants have rings. rings. It's just that Saturn's own is the only seeable one. Same as Uranus, but they are very thin. Thin, very thin. And next we go to Uranus. Uranus tilts on its side right. for some reason. Mm -hmm. And it has and it spins like Venus, as we said. It does like this. All the planets does like this, but it does like that. With Venus. <laughs> So, those two are very special. Next is Neptune with Neptune. the Kuiper Belt. You know, Neptune is the most windiest planet in the world. So, if you, in it's the whole of the solar system. system, because of the Neptune has lots of wind. So, if you're going to a trip to Neptune, get an umbrella, wear your Cody's jacket. Jacket. Right, then you wear another one, then you wear another one. Wear six jackets, that is how you're gonna survive in that one. <laughs> Even if it becomes hot. <clears throat> because it's just, it's so far away. And we have our little friend, the moon. So, I will tell you something. A fact about, one fact about the moon. The moon and the earth were first joined together until an asteroid the size of Mars hit the earth making the earth break that part of break could either turn into a ring or a moon and it became a moon and i'm glad that it was a moon because rings will be hitting some asteroids that that hit the rings will hit us so that is a thank gosh that we have a moon that will help all the as almost some of the asteroids do not hit us and we die. So we are very happy that we got a moon instead of rings. It, and Neptune is also the coldest planet. Yes, you can see how it's, why it's dark. Dark. Uranus and Neptune are also gas giants, but there is a group called Ice, ice giants. giants and they are included and they are the only two that are included it's because they are only made out of ice and did you know that there's a zone called the goldilocks zone that that is not too hot not too cold for human life if you are in front of the goldilocks zone it's too hot for human life if you are at the, At the back, back of the Goldilocks zone, it's gonna, it's too cold. So life needs one special one. You know, guess why you call we called it the Goldilocks zone. You know the Goldilocks story. The Goldilocks story was all about this bear and the and the child. I won't won't go into the story, but as we recall in the story. She said, not too hot, not too, too cold, cold. Just, just right. And that is why they called it the Goldilocks zone. They also named Earth, nicknamed Earth, the Goldilocks planet. Because it's not too cold, not too hot, just right. 
<laughs> so if you were here, it's too cold. But if you were here, it's too hot to stand up. And if you're here, you don't even have a solid surface to stand on. You fall just through it. But there is a few reasons why you just can't fall through. It may be because of the force of gravity, or maybe there might be a solid core inside, like a peach or an avocado. So that is something about Jupiter. What I love about Jupiter is that about its red spot. It's just so fascinating. It has been going for years and I and it's still a mystery how it was even formed. Here's a fun fact. Neptune had a dark spot, but it then disappeared up over time. When scientists wanted to find it with the telescope, it just, it was just gone. gone. And then it appeared on another side of Neptune. Funny and and funny Neptunes. It was nicknamed the Great Dark Spot. <laughs> Are you getting it? It's because of Neptune is dark. And this one was the Great Red Spot. Don't get those two confused. Then Saturn with his rings. Saturn's rings are the most famous. What you remember every time when you remember about rings. When, rings. The first thing planet you picture when you talk when they are talking about rings is Saturn. But some people picture Uranus. But mostly Saturn. Because it's the one that you can see very clearly. But Uranus is all no. We'll be talking about each of these planets in one of our series of these planets of our solar, solar system. Bye guys and have a happy day. To watch more of our videos, ring that notification bell and hit that subscribe button and comment below if you think pluto should be included again